Hello. Here I am. It's a really nice graveyard there. Isn't that pretty? I, lo I love graveyards. That's just something personal. If anyone ever spoke to me, I could chat about that. I like to tour them, a tourist thing where you go, you know. The ones here have got to be awesome, but I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not doing that um, these days here in DC. So I'm gonna be really careful with my words again, okay? Uh, I can't help but remember that because I'm back in the area where I got the guidance. Just be careful with my words. I um, choose to believe through green light guidance. I saw a really nice African-American uh, DCPD officer just this morning, a female. Can you fucking imagine what it's gotta be like for them? I wrote a little bit about that. Oh, wow, man, they're in, in it. They're in it more than I even them, I think, you know? We could analyze that, but not right now because I'm in it enough myself. It's just not time for none of that. Um, enough time has lapsed as far as me dropping my cat off where I can now pick up my phone and narrate. But I gotta be really careful with my words. Um, there, there's Virginia for the international audience. Ask Virginia if you're wondering, the city does still abide by whatever the word, I can't have, I can't tell you the word right now, folks. It's like I speak English as a second language myself from fucking trauma. But you can't build tall building here in the city. You can see the difference. See that? This is a really beautiful city. It's a crying shame what they did to it. What the population did to this city, trying to violently overthrow their government. Yeah. It's really sad. But anyways, the graveyard's really nice. I'm gonna be careful with my words. You can see the moon up there. Isn't that pretty? That is really great. With the headstones. Sorry, I love that. That's beautiful. And then you can see Virginia. All right. That could be Maryland. I mean, I'm not totally a native. I'm better at New York uh, vicinities. That's a nice dad. He loves his son, you can tell. Um, I'm better at New York vicinities than I am DC, but you can see the difference there. Then this is Wisconsin Avenue you're looking at. That's a nice dad. I'm sorry, I'm pretty hard on the parents here. Uh, I'm sorry, you choose to raise your kid here. It's a judgment call I can make. Hey, I, ch I had the judgment not to have no kids. <laughs> I'm smart for that. I should get applied for that. I chose to educate myself and do a lot of other things that I would not have been able to if I chose to have a Nino. And so, you know what? I do have the standing to make a judgment call, especially after everything I've done for my country and into the city to keep it from being overthrown. I did, I did my part. I never said in writing or in verbal, uh, I was doing it all. No, I did my freaking part. And I still do my part, man. But um, as far as raising kids here, dude, if you, if you, I'm sorry, if you're responsible, I'm not sorry, but I'm trying to preposition it politely. You would get Hytale out of here with your kid, dude. You would have noticed a whole lot of stuff that would have really, really freaked you out. What's this guy pulling right up here for? To park. I mean, my God, you, look how I am with my little gatos. Can you imagine a real life little human? Oh, forget it. They'd never see me raising a kid somewhere like this. Oh my goodness. And then you would go to like the PTA meetings. Can you imagine? And all the staff are on meth, speed talking, all amped out, hot all the time. <laughs> The fuck? And all you're asking is why there's no play parks? 
Yeah, don't worry about it, man. So my green light was go this way and that cop lady was a really nice cop. I just, my heart just skips a beat thinking what they're going through. Dude, I'm in the city with them, man. I hear them fucking EMS and most of these motherfuckers, I can't talk about it. Right, we know. <sighs> Baby, my son cat, who I am love just as much as a little kid, but he's not a human, is um at the vet. And that's really all I'm gonna say about these places and people. I gotta be careful because this this is really Caliente, this city. And I don't got to say no more about it right now. Let's just like, you know what? Seriously, take Jesus, his guidance. We could talk about African-American women cops. Yeah, maybe not that one though, but you know what I mean? The subject, that's fine. We can talk about the city ordinances and the tweakers, the tweakers of DC. We can talk all about that we like. Um, but like, really, I gotta be careful. I can see why. And um, my green light was walk this way. This is new, this is new ground for me. I, I don't believe I've been in this part of DC before. I don't know, I probably have not. And I'm looking for a coffee shop. It's really nice to walk. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna make any more comments other than that about the depravity and the consequences because I am not to say these things right now. The construction is completely fucking out of this world here, but I'm not going to talk about any of it. This is the noisiest suburb because there's only 800,000 I've ever seen anywhere in my life. And I have traveled to Europe two times in a row. I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico. I mean what I say. So having a nice walk is not possible here. It doesn't happen. It's fucking hell on earth. You have ears right now, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of the DC civilians I cannot make comments on for reasons that should be clear. And um, my green light was go this way, look for a coffee shop. My other sun cat is safe. I do a procedure in that uh, property that I am in to secure my animal. And my green light is to not go back. I can fucking totally understand that. And to freaking wait for the gato here on Wisconsin. That's what I'm doing. So there's my agenda. Where are we now? Um, I don't know. I am again wandering the streets of Washington, D.C. Alone, poor, vulnerable, and in solitude. This, they think, I, I can speak on this, clearly is uh, the social mores and is not sanctioned. This is all good. This is what people like me deserve. Do not rock the boat to the white power establishment, God, money, capitalism in this town. And I will not say anymore because it did not work for them what they tried to do. I cannot say anymore. I am not qualified to, dude. I'm honestly not qualified. I don't have the job title. It's some of that, you know, you can figure this out, right? It's a lot of that going on right now. I would love to go to that graveyard to go look at that pretty historical. I love stuff like that, yeah. What is this? A strip joint? Uh, Yeah, probably, I don't know. I cannot definitely not talk about that. 
No, they, oh, I can say they fucking know me and hate me. Hate me then. All right, um, so I'm looking for a coffee shop. That is my plan. I'm gonna put this on the YouTube and see what kind of Wi-Fi I have as I go up the hill because when I'm down there, it's really bad. Last time that I was in that area by the veterinarian office. Bye.